Hi, welcome to the workshop for episode five of the Great Guitar Build Off 2021 build. Time is starting to get a bit tight on this build now. The deadline's fast approaching and I've got a lot to do. Um, and I've not really helped myself in some regards. It's become apparent as I'm working through this build that I perhaps should have done a bit more work on the neck before I glued the body on. Um, and I'm left with a situation now where it's virtually impossible to run the guitar through the bandsaw to thickness the neck off. So I've had to do a little bit of lateral thinking and come up with a plan B. And this is what I've come up with, the Franken jig. Um, and what this does is it holds the guitar very firmly in exactly the right position. So I can run a router along these two rails and take the neck down to the thickness that I want. So without further ado, I'm gonna break my big router out and start to take some of this material off. Okay, so that's worked beautifully. I'm really happy with that. Um, it's left a nice clean finish. My worst fear wasn't realized and I haven't found the truss rod, which is absolutely brilliant. So we can dismantle all this now. We can dispense with the jig, get everything cleaned up and start looking at the next operation, which is gonna be getting the frets in. Okay, so we're ready to get the frets in now. Um, a lot of people will do this after they've profiled the neck. I personally prefer to do it this way simply because I can get a nice stout block under this flat profile that still exists on the underside of the neck. Um, so I'm nice and supported when I knock the frets in. Um, the frets I've got are not particularly expensive. Um, they're pre-cut. They've had the tangs nibbled on them already. So hopefully this should be quite a, a straightforward and quick process to get done. Okay, so I've got all my frets sorted out and onto a little bit of masking tape to keep them in order. But before I start to knock any of them in, I'm just gonna take a small triangular file and I'm just going to open up the top of the fret slot ever so slightly just to help that fret seat. Okay, so ready to get these frets in. Um, and I'm simply going to knock them in with a soft faced hammer. Um, as I said, I've got a block underneath the neck, which is supporting everything nicely. Now I'm going to do something I don't normally do on these frets and I'm going to try and just drop some glue into the fret slots. It's not something I've done before and I'm not entirely sure it's necessary um, but I'm not the kind of person that will dismiss something just out of hand without trying it first so I'm going to give it a go. So here we go.
Okay, so that's all the frets in. Um, it took a little bit longer to do it that way, but it didn't really make that much of a mess, so I'm happy about that. Um, how well it works, well, we'll just have to wait and see until we can get it strung up and, and play it. But I'd say the one advantage I saw when I was doing that was if you hadn't quite got a fret down properly, once you'd cleaned the glue off, and giving it another tap you could see it squeeze more glue out so that's like a really good visual indicator that you perhaps need to pay a little bit more attention to that fret okay with the frets in we can now make a start on carving the neck Okay, so that's the, the bulk of the neck kind of roughed in and it is still quite rough. There's a lot of square edges that need smoothing off, etc. Um, but I'm going to leave that until I've kind of got the headstock transition a little bit closer because this is stopping me from kind of getting a good run up at it. Um, and I'm also going to have to do quite a lot of work back here. But I'm going to have a think about what this is going to look like before I go any further. But to start with, I'm just going to take the bulk of the waste off in this area and just see how things develop, really. Okay, so that's the bulk of the shaping done on the neck and I've literally, I've just done this with the Shinto saw rasp, some Irasaka carving files and a card scraper. I haven't used any sandpaper so far on this and it's feeling really nice and smooth. It's, it's nearly where I need it to be. But I just want to do a little bit more work on this headstock transition. I'm not very happy with how it looks at the moment. So I'm going to have to think about what I want to do there and just get that tidied up. Okay, so I've just uh, spent five minutes kind of getting this closer to where I wanted it. Um, what I initially did was I brought this through into something of a little peak in this section here. Um, and it looked actually quite nice, but it just felt a bit clunky under my hand. So I've just kind of put that into a nice broad radius there um, and blended it all in. Still needs a bit of sanding, but it's kind of very, very close to where we need it. Okay, so all I've done there is I've added a couple of layers of veneer 
to the back of this headstock, um, a walnut veneer and then a flamey maple one. Um, and then just work the edge back to reveal some of the, the darker colour underneath the lighter colour. I've still got a little bit of cleaning up work to do on there, um, but I need to radius the rest of this headstock in to do that just to make it look nice and even. But I've come to the decision that I can't live with this headstock shape. It's just too PRS. Um, so, I don't know if you can see that, I've just, I've drawn a line in, in pencil there, and I'm just gonna take this to the disc sander and just reprofile the end of the peg head. Okay, I'm actually much happier with that now. I think it looks a lot better. Okay, so with all the work on the headstock out of the way for the time being, um, I've rushed on ahead off camera a little bit and laid out everything on the body that I need to do next. So I've marked out for the pickup routes um, I've marked you probably can't see where all the holes are going to go for the controls and I've also marked out for the mounting of the bridge what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to fit the tailpiece first and with that in position um, I will then mock it up with the two e-strings on the neck and from there I can just double triple check that the bridge is in the right position laterally Okay, so I've just put a couple of strings on there just to get my alignment sorted out and that's all sitting very nicely. Okay, so I'm just gonna repeat the same process I did for the tailpiece for the bridge studs. Okay, so with those all fitted, now what I'm going to do is just drill the holes that I need for all the controls, including the jack socket, the volume tone, and the switch. Okay, so this only leaves me one job to do now really at this stage and that is to cut the two pickup cavities out. Now I've been in a bit of a quandary about this for some time. I initially bought a pair of pickup rings to mount the pickups in, um, but having got it to this stage I'm not entirely convinced that that's the way I want to go. So what I've done is I've created 
a pickup template for this guitar. Um, and I've made this so that the cavities just fit the pickups. Um, so they're a little bit narrower than an ordinary template would be. And I'm going to route the cavities using this template and see how they fit. If I'm not happy with it, I can then look at reverting to the, the rings. Um, but I think it's just gonna be a cleaner look for this particular guitar. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this to the drill press, hog out most of the waste for the cavities with some force and the bits, and then I'll stick my template on, and then I'll route the cavities to depth with my um, little trim router. Okay, so there's the pickups routed. Um, actually really pleased with the way they've come out. They look really good. Um, and also, you might just be able to see it in there, the cutout that meets the control cavity lines up pretty much where I wanted it to. And I've tested all my little components that need to go through there and it all works beautifully. They all fit through fine. So we're at a position now where that's all the major cutting done um, and this guitar is almost at a point where we're ready to start the finishing process but we've covered enough ground for this episode so i'm going to leave that to next time i hope you've enjoyed this if so don't forget to leave me a like um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and i'm going to be back very very soon with the next episode so until then thanks a lot for watching bye bye